Hey, happy summer everybody. Welcome back to the Outback Cook Company. Episode 2, edition 2 of Barbecue Sides, Thrills and Frills. We're going to make another version of coleslaw. So our last version, our first version, was our famous Southwest coleslaw that we made at the Dutch Oven Smokehouse, our barbecue restaurant. This one is going to be a fun one. We have never made this recipe, as everybody does. We're scrolling through. We saw something today on Texas Monthly about a famous barbecue coleslaw. So we're going to take our own version of that. We're going to make this up on the fly today, literally on the fly. Hey, it's going to be fun. We're going to highlight our wing sauce and marinade. This is what we call Sunset Rider. It is a vinegar based citrus infused barbecue sauce, wing sauce marinade, and today we're going to be using it as a salad dressing. It's going to be awesome. So that's our highlight right there, Sunset Rider. We're going to use a green cabbage. We're going to use a little purple cabbage for color. We're going to throw in a little tartness with a green apple, a little sweetness with a red apple, some bite with a green onion, a little red pepper for some sweet flair, a sweet onion. To top it off as a dressing, we're just gonna throw in uh, some salt and pepper and we're gonna make a mix of dressing using our Sunset Rider, a little bit of apple juice, and a little bit of apple cider vinegar. That's our goal, we're gonna see how this goes. We are cooking today on our vintage 1880s style chuck wagon. Hey, this is awesome, guys. Oh. This is uh, back into a hole. Yeah, sorry about that. I was gonna warn you. There's been a lot of cowboys fed off the back of this chuck wagon, guys, and uh, we're gonna feed a couple more here today. Cabbage was one of those ingredients that uh, they carried on the chuck wagon. It keeps well, keeps long. Probably doesn't need to be refrigerated. Gosh, and one of these cellophane wraps, which they didn't have back then, seems like those things will keep for a month. But uh, cabbage is something that could be found here and there. I don't normally use red cabbage. Or purple cabbage. Uh, I've got some of that we picked up today. I'm going to put that in there for a little flare just to give a little more color. Eat with your eyes. So today we're going to throw in a little purple cabbage. We're going to start with green cabbage like I've shown you before last week. I have this cabbage right down the middle and I'm going to cut the core out. You got a good sharp knife just throw in there. Throw your blade in there at an angle. Trim that out. It's pretty easy. As I've mentioned before, I like my coleslaw just a little bit crunchy. Half a cabbage, that's plenty to feed a family. Probably going to be looking at 12 to 14 servings. Got to get rid of these gun shells. <laughs> All right, I have this purple cabbage, but I will cut the core out of it, but I'm not going to use the entire half cabbage, probably just about a fourth of that. We're making this up on the fly, under the fly, with a lot of flies. <laughs> Here's the secret with purple cabbage. Add a little dressing to that, and it likes to bleed. so. I'm not going to add a lot of purple cabbage to that. Just a little bit for color. I think that's plenty right there. I'm going to leave this out. We're going to add color a couple more directions here. So what do you call these, Joe? Green onions. Yeah, but like, what would you call them? It's like a, it's like a, it's not a plant. It's like, I think it starts with an S. Go pick me a, something of a green onion. Spurge or a, a sprig? Sprig, that's what I'm looking for. Is it a sprig? Yeah. I think so. Okay. Yeah, I think that's correct. All right, we've got four sprigs of green onion. I am going to chop them all up and use them in their entirety. Cut the bottom root off. Red pepper. Find a firm red pepper if you can. This one lacks a little bit of firmness, but it was the best one I could find today.
Again, the red pepper is going to bring a little element of sweet. And it's going to add some color to the salad. One ingredient I don't have here is a carrot. We're going to use some carrot shavings. You get a tart green apple. Instead of using a red onion like we did in the last recipe, I'm going to use a sweet onion. It's not going to take a lot of this. We've already got green onions in the recipe. Maybe a quarter cup of onion in this recipe. All right. Is that a fine enough chop for your onion, Joe? Fine enough for me. Okay. So again, we got about a quarter of a cup here. That's plenty of sweet onion. Next, we're gonna counteract the sweet onion with a little green apple. I'm not gonna core that apple, but I'll show you how I do that. It's about as good as you can get, right? That's going to go well. If it looks like I'm dancing, I am. <laughs> Gotta get rid of those flies. Last ingredient as far as fresh ingredients go, fresh carrots. I'm going to trim the outside of these, peel those a little bit into the trash. And that's it for fresh ingredients. Alright, we'll give us a quick stir on this. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of Sunset Rider, because we haven't done this before, straight up with you. We're going to add about four ounces of that to the pot, and then we'll see if we need to add some vinegar or some apple juice and a little salt pepper. This has orange juice, so it's got a little citrus in it. It's got lots of vinegar. It's got some orange flakes in there. It's going to be great as a barbecue side. I had about four ounces left there, so. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we added just a little bit more Sunset Rider to the mix. How does it look? Looks great. Does it? folks there you go it's our sunset slot apples cabbage red peppers carrots sweet onion green onion and then we added just a little bit of mayo to our sunset rider coat as you desire this is about uh, 12 servings we probably use about half to three quarters of a cup of total dressing we'll nail that down we'll put it on a recipe card you can check us out when you're liking and subscribing, outbackcooking.com, dosmokehouse.com. You can order your sauces right there or pick them up in your local grocery store. It's chow time. Hey, this is a light slaw. It's gonna pair well with any of your barbecue. Mmm, a little tart, a little tangy, a little sweet. It's just right. Hot summer days, you don't need anything too heavy. Mm, perfect. Look for us next time. Thanks for tuning in to Outback Cooking. It's been fun having you here. We love creating recipes. We're going to do some fun stuff this summer. So, again, like and subscribe. Stay in touch. Probably going to be doing some random things. See you guys next time.
we are nothing if not professional. We're professional. <laughs> like and subscribe, or like and subscribe. Oh, we gotta ring that name bell. What is it? Like, subscribe. I don't know what it is. You started off real strong. <laughs> Jump time! You're live on Outback Cooking. Oh, I'm live on Outback Cooking. Go ahead. This is terrible. Are you looking for a uh, coleslaw recipe? Golly. All right, go for it. This is what it's like trying to keep flies off of a finished product. <laughs> coleslaw. I should say that again. Step out. <laughs> <laughs> 